I like to say a few words before we do the last part of this program. I like to tell you that this tribute to me was a tremendously emotional thing for me. I only had this done once before, and, and uh, uh, it was uh, it was real hard for me. I mean, it's something that that naturally my ego, is, I mean, the adrenaline and the ego that goes along with it, is just incredible. But I guess it's a little bit awkward. But uh, I'm just—I I can't tell you how, uh, how uh, on my knees. Or, I, don't, I don't know how to describe it, but I'm, I'm really emotionally grateful to everybody. If for no other, no other reason, coming out and validating what I've been doing for all these years, which I kind of thought was pretty crazy. <laughs> If I'm going to be true to form, I got to tell it to you like it is. I got to be more honest with you. I know how you do. I know why everybody's here. They think I'm going to croak. Hey, you know. Now everybody here tonight has done their part. And if I was to do my part. I should wait for about three weeks while it's still fresh in everybody's mind and kick off. But we got the whole month of October booked. I can't do that. I, uh... I would like to express my feelings in a, in a song, because I think I, 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 it seems like I, that expresses my feelings better than anything else. And I've rewritten the words to an old Flatt and Scruggs song. It's called uh, Give Me the Flowers While I'm Living. 